What's up everyone? It's Friday. Welcome to the Amazon Champion YouTube channel where I give you tips and techniques of how you can build a successful Amazon business. So I'm super excited to talk about today's video because we are going to talk about something that is very important that you need to know before you jump in to Amazon FBA. So this is something that there are a lot of opinions out there. Some people say different things other people believe different things so i'm going to give you my honest opinion whether you want to take it and run with it or you want to tell me that i'm full of it so i'm going to be talking about amazon fba startup costs and this is something that is completely subjective and it just depends on the on you so there are a lot of factors that go into how much it actually costs so i'm just going to go over the options and the musts that we have to do in order to start selling on Amazon. So I'm going to kind of dive right into it and I created a little PDF to give you all the pricing and the totals at the very end. So to start off, we have create an LLC or a DBA. This is something that is completely optional. You do not have to have an LLC to start selling on Amazon. You can go in and use your social security number and register as a seller as yourself. So that is an option. I would recommend that once you do start selling more and you start building your business, I would recommend getting an LLC just to protect yourself. And then that goes into the next one, the product liability insurance. Again, this is not necessary to start selling, but when you start selling a lot and you start building your brand or you start building your business, I would highly recommend to have the product liability insurance just so that you are covered, you don't have any claims against you, and you're not being sued for millions of dollars, and you don't have that to pay. So that is why insurance is important. So those two are optional. I would recommend though in the future to get them, but as you can see, those are rough estimates of how much they are going to cost. The next one is a must, it's the Amazon account. You have to pay the 40 bucks a month. If you don't, then you're not going to sell on Amazon. So that is a must to become a professional seller. The next one are the research tools and the softwares that we use in order to find products. So I love Jungle Scout and that's why all of my students, everyone that I talk to, get Jungle Scout. You need the Chrome extension. It's 200 bucks, it's a one-time fee. You have it for life. So that is a must. You need the Chrome extension. It's going to help you find profitable products and it's going to tell you whether or not you should sell that product. The next one is the web app. So this ranges from 40 bucks a month to 100 bucks a month. And this is another product research tool that you can use. So I put that this is optional because you don't need that, but I would recommend you getting these different tools because it is going to save you a lot of money and time in the long run because it's going to help you find a good product that you know is going to sell. Because if you don't have these tools and you start ordering just random products that you think are going to sell and then you come to find out that they don't sell, if you would have just paid the 250 bucks, you would have known just like that, but you can use it for every single product. So I would recommend the Jungle Scout um, software to help you know whether or not it is a good product to sell. The next ones are the UPC barcodes. You have two different options. You can get the gs1us.org. That is what Amazon recommends. And then, but you can also go get the other barcodes from other places. There's millions of places. If you just search Amazon barcodes on Google, you can do instant upccodes.com. You can get 10 barcodes for 20 bucks. They both work. It just depends on what ones you want. The next one is the cost of product. This is where it completely depends on you, the product you are buying, how many units you are buying, if you are private labeling a product, if you are customizing a product and it's packaging, this completely depends on all of those different factors. So me, I started off with about $300 in product and other people start with $5,000, other people start with $20,000. It just depends. So I'm not going to say you need this for product because it just depends on what product you want to sell. Then we have the optional tools that are going to help you be successful and set you apart from the rest, which are the product photos where 
you're not just going to use the same ones off of Alibaba. You're actually going to have someone either take your photos or you're going to take them so that they're different from others. Then you have the word merchant words. That's a keyword search engine that's going to help you find products and then also create an effective product title and listing. And since you're on this YouTube channel, we are getting you 70% off. So go to merchantwords.com forward slash Amazon champions and you will get merchant words for nine bucks a month instead of paying 30. The next one is Amazon Mailer. That's going to range from 19 bucks a month uh, up to like a hundred bucks. But you can start off with 19 bucks and it's going to send automated emails to your customers that is going to help you get organic and true feedback. So ratings, which are very important and it's going to help you avoid negative seller feedback. So that is something that I highly recommend that you do. And then depending on if you have your manufacturer put on the warning labels and the product barcodes, you might have that as another fee. So that is like 20 bucks. It's not a big deal. And then you have create a logo. So if you are private labeling, if you are trying to build a brand, you need to have a logo. And I actually show you in, I think two videos ago, how you can create a professional logo for 15 to 25 bucks. So if you want to learn how to do that, click on my channel, subscribe, and go find that video of how you can create that logo. So now the total with everything, this is if you wanna do everything, everything that I listed, it's going to be about 700 bucks plus the product, so it could be 300 bucks, it could be 1,000 bucks, and then plus a course or a mentor, whatever you're doing, because most of the people do use a course or they have someone that's helping them, and that is another cost that you need to have um, kind of in mind because it's not, it has to go somewhere. So that's about how much it's going to cost. So you could start out realistically with everything that I just listed for 1500 bucks, but I recommend from 1000 to 2000 is realistic. But then there are also other people that like me when I first started, when I didn't have a bunch of money to start, I went in with the attitude, what is the minimum startup cost? So I'm gonna give this to you and like I said, this could range but you need the research tools. I mean, you can try without them, but you're going to lose a lot of money if you go about it that way. But it's gonna be 300 bucks plus the product, and then if you don't want the course, you don't need the course, you can teach yourself, which I recommend not doing, but you have 300 bucks for all the different tools, the Amazon account, the UPC codes, um, all the software that you need plus the product that you are going to order. So that could range from 200 bucks to 10,000, like I said, but you can make do with a $300 order, just like what I started out with. Um, not saying that you are going to be successful with that, but that's what I started out with. And then the optional um, of taking, the option of taking a course. So with all this being said, you can start with 500 bucks, but realistically, I would recommend planning on spending at least at least $1,000 to $2,000 to start your Amazon FBA business. So that is my honest opinion. That is how much I believe it's going to cost to start a successful Amazon FBA business. So if you think I'm wrong, let me know. But that is just how I feel about Amazon FBA and I just want to be completely transparent with you guys and honest that this is not some get quick rich scheme. It's not something that happens overnight. It's not super easy. And you would think that I would be saying something different because I'm coming out with a course, but I'm just being honest with you guys and I want to be transparent. I believe in a hundred percent transparency. Um, being honest is the best thing that you can do. So that is one thing that you will get with me is I will not beat around the bush. I will give it to you how it is. And this is how I feel. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you in tomorrow's video. But if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe. And I really appreciate all of the support that you guys have shown me. And I will see you guys to in tomorrow's video. So thanks again.